myself a minute. Well, you lot all seem particularly sour. Even by your standards, which is saying a lot. Now, how are y'all supposed to feel okay about themselves with nothing but a bunch of sour-faced killers for company? Well, I do my best to keep them presentable. I really do. But there's no one to help me. Oh, I know you lot just laugh at me behind my back. I know what you say. But it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Being the camp joke. Oh, just because I have standards, huh? And manners. Manners is important. Manners is everything. Oh, you lot ain't got no manners. Just look at you. Bunch of cow herders, the lot of you. Hey there. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. There he is. Hey. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. All right, then. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. Well, I should get back to it. Thanks. Hey, Pearson. Oh, hello. You seem in a good mood. I do? Okay, maybe not then. Yes, yes. Setting a good example there, Arthur.
Morning to you. Good morning, Arthur. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. All right then, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> oh, thanks. How are you? I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? Yeah, glad to hear. It. Morning. Arthur. Everything okay? Well, I'm still alive. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh, Arthur? Please. John? Good morning, Arthur. Without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Hey, Terry. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Abigail. Morning, Arthur. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Hey, Uncle. Hi there. If you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. Just a suggestion. Yep. Reading betrayal in your world, Miss Grimshaw? Not reading, miss. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right, not missing. For horses. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Uh-huh. There she is. Okay. There you are, Dutch. Morning. When's this going to end? Help me. Speak to them for me. Miss Grimshaw. Hey, 
Dare we take a little walk later? Just you and me. Ah, we'll uh, morning. Hey, Mary Beth. How old are you now? 21, 22? You don't ask a lady that. Yep, yep. Here. Yep. Come on. Yep. Let's get. Come on, boy. <laughs> Good boy. Hello. For days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I'd, I'd just. Easy enough. Oh. oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, I was stuck in line with this thief from up in the Grizzlies. Says there's a family up there. Real strange, but rich. Loaded up, he said. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Hey, brother! Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! You're okay, boy. when I get a woman 
like that, don't you? Frazzle dipping all the night. Frazzle dipping your little pulley wag more like. We has that one we keeps in the woods. Pappy was boiling when he sees her, don't you? <laughs> oh. He agrees her name now. <laughs> Digs her up an ass, don't you? <laughs> And next run to market, I combs my hair all flowy like I says to the girl. Good morning. You watch now. I tell you every time. No yakking in the market. Newt and Edie takes the wagon now, don't you? Now shut your gulpers and do it right on that ginseng. Make a right tangle of that, Mal. He's surely stuck here like hogpins now. No!
Get moving. <laughs> Looks a way off.
Getting close. Here. Wait. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Glad to have you back, partner. There you are. I'll keep these horses fed and water until you get back. Let's go, boy.
Okay, maybe see you again. Not a bad home, boy. No choice of hide, impossible. Let's have a look. Boy, the things I can make with this. Okay, let's take a look at it. Want a problem? You idiot! Ooh. All right, keep your shirt on. Say a word. Ooh. Damn it! Get your poxy ropes off me, you piece of dirt! Ooh. I hate you. Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. No. Listen, I know this ain't Damn fun. It. Come on! Now, 
Come on. for a moment. You're okay, boy. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps, I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble, you'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. <laughs> yep, yep.
Let's get. Let's go, boy. Yeah. about this girl stand up for yourself she'll come around yeah I've been waiting trust me kid there ain't so many good men out there make yourself one of the good ones thanks mister I hope you're right You wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. Yep. I'll be rich. A nice big. It's house. all right, boy. You'll be begging me. Yeah, to court okay, you. boy.
boy. Maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, boy. Come on. Can't loop around here all day. You best not talk about seeing me here. I took a little jolt and I managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you, what possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort. Never mind, all right? I don't want your help. Oh, my God! Yep. Yep, yep. Let's get... Come on, boy. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, now. If I were you, I'd relax. Because this is your new life. You should get used to it. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> no, please don't. Anybody, please, I need help. You take care now. Oh, go. Easy. Oh, sorry, boy.
Good one, boy. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, boy. Ah! Let's get you looking nice. You're all right, boy. Trying to make ends meet. That is just the way it is. Can I help you? Sir, I should have come back to this town. Don't get into a lot of it. Hi there, mister. Hello. Mr. Sheriff. Hello. Just wish today was over already. Oh, that's a damn shame. Good to have you, mister. Have a look. You must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here. Now grab some items for your camp. Coffee. Coffee. Hunting supplies, biscuits, canned items. All along the perimeter of the shop. What did I do? Not so fast. Baseman, I want to see what you got cooking down there. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Just a little batch of white lightning to warm the old bones. Take me down there. Now! It's, uh, it's down this way. Uh, uh, like I say, nothing. Nothing to see, really. Just a, just a little drop on the side. I'll be the judge of that. Show me where the money is. I ain't gonna ask you twice. Whoa! Please stay back. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. D don't point that at me. Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. Hey, now, th that's close enough. That's better. S stay away from me, please. You keep your mouth shut. Maybe I'll keep my mouth shut about this operation of yours. We all gotta make a bit extra on the side. Fine, I'll just Welcome get the call to you Strawberry! Welcome! Oh, hell no. Back off! Somebody! Anybody! Oh. Ah. 
Today, isn't it? Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that, man. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and... Pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. What? Life photographer. the bag. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. Here. Come on. Well, well. Got your bag. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. A bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the... ...tellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man had thought like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. At least, that's what I tell myself. Or it can get you killed. But hey, good luck. Please, if I'm to attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. Okay, boy. There.
get your own camp. Somewhere far from here. Get away from me! I ain't here to cause trouble. I'll All shoot right. You like a sick <laughs> How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. I... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow him. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. 
Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on! Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if, I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with.
The cab's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take him down! God damn it! How much? Charles found. Turn him in ourselves. Still time. Let's push forward. Ah! On top of the tower. Show up! from here. doing
Fancy seeing you here! I suppose I'll be owing you for this one. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Get the hell out of my sight. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. I tell you, life ain't easy. Oh, we'll get better. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to hear this. Bye. Who's this coward? To you. Reverend! Reverend, where are you? 
Swanson, you hear me? Swanson, you in here? Swanson! Hey, boy. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Call. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. I'm gonna go all in. Okay. Okay. Here, look. Pile of crap. Big pile of nothing. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's go. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Gentlemen. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where is... <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Hey, you! Have you seen a priest? What's your problem? Have you seen a priest all drunk and crazy? Leave me alone. Maybe shoot you. Shoot me? Why would you shoot me? 
Have you seen a priest? Yes, he went that way. Angry jacket. Mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Come on. Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Okay. 
Hey, boy. Let's go. Ah. Wonderful. Yeah, okay, boy. Ah. Right, boy. Don't mind if I do. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Faster. I was wondering when he'd show up. You okay? Look who it is. I missed that crazy bastard. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. All right. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Save some for the rest of us. Yippers! Hi, Sean. Hey. Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Well, don't get too comfortable. All right, then. You all right there, Reverend? Yes. Yes, happy to have young Sean back. Yep. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. You seem better? Yeah, almost feel normal again. You were never normal, Marston. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Uh-huh. Hey. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Well, know you're appreciated around here. Sure, Arthur. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. Yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Well, good, Abigail? Yeah, starting to like this place, the boy too. Good, I'm glad. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Take care, Arthur.
We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. Good evening to you. Evening, Arthur. You seem in a good mood. I do. Well, anyway, don't let me spoil it. Okay then. Always good to see you. Good evening, Arthur. Oh, thanks. I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? I'm sure there will be soon. I'll let you know. Sure, Arthur. You did good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> I know. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yes, see you later. Hosea. Hey there. Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. Well, guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks. Arston. Hi. Any leads? I'm working on something. Good. Well, let me know. Yep. Miss Grimshaw. Evening. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Well, I'm sure you have it under control. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. 